Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. In this video, we are going to learn about Spark lines. So this is a concept available in Power BI. What exactly Spark lines are and how is it important? Uh, how is it used? It's a kind of a trend chart. Uh, it is one of the most asked uh, it, uh, in the interviews also. Um, usually the concept of Spark line is used to check the current scenario, whether is it in a decreasing cause or is, is it in a increasing cause or whether is it a stable? I mean, uh, if you want to check any sales related info for last four years and with this concept of spark line uh, if the spark line is going or moving towards the upward trend uh, it would give you a positive outcome or a positive sales and if the spark line is stable then the sales are uh, a stable concept i mean there are sales are in a stable uh, manner and if the spark line is towards the downward trend so it would ingest that there is a decrease in sales so what exactly a spark line is uh, to give you a context uh, it was introduced in the december 2021 power bi desktop update so it's a feature available in power bi so the main uh, the main reason to give you an idea about Sparkline is it is used in many sales or business related aspects or business related reports where everyday income uh, sales or everyday financials are calculated or everyday financials are taken into account. So what exactly is Sparkline? It's a kind of trend chart that is usually shown as a bar or a line graph it, in, a, in, in two of the KPIs. Usually this Sparkline is available in only two KPIs. APIs in the Power BI or two visuals in the Power BI that that two visuals are the table and a matrix visual only. So let's head over to Power BI so to get an idea. So I, I have my Power BI open the Power BI desktop. So what I'll do is I have connected two of the data sets here. One is the financial data set and other one is the normal um, age gender related unemployment rate. So what I'll do is I'll create table or I'll take a table matrix. So as I said, Sparkline is only available in table or a matrix visual. So I'll take a table visual here. So in case of finance, what I'll do, I'll take sales here. I'll take country more country upwards so to get an idea if the sum of sales for this country canada is it an increasing trend or a decreasing trend we may create multiple line charts or bar charts also but at certain instances we don't have or there isn't any additional requirement of that line chart or a bar chart but only we want to check the certain trend of the uh, sum of sales for a particular country whether is it an increasing order or is it a decreasing order so it is up to the, uh, the data set what all the data we have so for this data set we certainly have few of the records from 2013 and 14 so let's see how a spark line would help us so spark line would give you a trend here whether it is it a decreasing or a uh, uh, in a uh, uh, increase manner so in case of spark line the one the first thing what we have to do is it's a feature available here so the one who have downloaded power bi recently it is by defaultly available or by defaultly checked in but to reconfirm it you have to go to options and settings and in preview features the concept called as spark line needs to be checked in here so this is the spark line if it is un unchecked or unenabled you can enable it click on ok so this is available in table and matrix so we have taken few columns here in the table kpi so how does a trend line or how does sorry how does a spark line would work you can create a spark line here also add a spark line for some of sales you want a spark line you can add a spark line from the column if you click on the drop down once you pull in that column to the visual 
variables you can have this create or add a sparkline option available here and one more ways if you go to insert add a sparkline so this would also work so here what we would do we will go to finance we are checking about sales so in y axis it would be sum of sales in x axis sum of sales per date because we want to check the sales for each country for particular date or year if you click on this so this is how it would be i'll make it a bit large so this is the spark line here how is it doing this is in an upward trend so the line is changing as per the data available here with us so as per the date we have certain record so sum of sales for canada is in an increasing trend you can see it has increased drastically in last few months so this trend line won't give you a particular data points uh, any month or a year where is it decreasing and where is it increasing just to give a business a brief intro that this is on an increasing trend this is a, on a decreasing or this is a kind of stable trend you can use this concept of spark line and most of the financial related data sets or day to day finances this concept of spark line is used so you can change it i mean you can change the color of a spark line uh, if you go to once you create a spark line it would be automatically available here in this visual uh, the table visual you can this is the uh, icon uh, you can differentiate bit within the column and the spark line if you go to the spark line here edit spark line so you can change what y axis and x axis would look like and if you want to change the color and look and feel you can go to the format which will at the end spark line is available so we have selected a line chart you can use a column chart also so this is how a column chart would work column chart uh, it might be easy to understand but it it is not a concept uh, used i mean most of the times line chart is used just because uh, the exact upward or downward trade or a stable trend is being predicted with the help of line chart you can change the data color whatever color you want you can change it you can increase the width also how does it look like this looks kind of better and you can change the markers also so marker colors it, you can change it to uh, any color you want or you can match it with the spark line color so as of now it is isolated if you go to negative there isn't any negative trend but let's see highest yeah you can see the highest wherever it has uh, reached a peak you can click on lowest wherever it has it has been the lowest so first and last would give you first and last every point would highlight multiple points so every point is where the data i mean our date data is available here one drawback in sparkline is uh, up to maximum 52 data points only the data is available here i'll uncheck this again so for now this sales uh, sum of sales for, we have only for around 24 months uh, 2013 and 14 it is up to us because i know the data set let's see if the data set has more than 52 points so 52 data points so this has only 13 and 14 so it would be 13 2013 and 14 so 12 and 12 24 data points are available here let's see some other data points so what i'll do is i'll create a new table visual i'll take a table visual here this is done so in this another data set what i have is i'll have gender age and unemployment rate or number of unemployed youth some of unemployed youth so what i'll do is i'll also create a spark line here so earlier what we did is we have gone to insert and we have did uh, we have created a spark line uh, for this data set we'll create we'll try to create on the gender uh, or we'll try to create on the age so to answer i mean to make it more simpler i'll use the period also the date option available here close the quarter month and day and close the month also you can check see the data is available for 2000 from 2005 to so the maximum is 2015 here so we have 12 different data sets for a particular year and number of years into 12 so we have around 10 years of data 120 data sets and the maximum limit for spark line is 52 so if we create a spark line here how does it look like i'll remove the period sum of unemployed what i'll do is i'll create a spark line on sum of unemployed add a spark line so in y-axis i want age count of age and in x-axis so i'll want unemployed and in x-axis i want a period or the date condition 
which we have in this data set so yeah so this is created so how uh, there isn't any trend here uh, upward or downward it's a continuous stable trend why just because we have a limitation and if you check these two kpis we'll make it large you check this data set in first kpi there won't there isn't any icon available here i'll delete this if you click here there isn't any icon available here but if you go down you can see an informative icon here. So if you go on this informative icon, your spark lines are showing a subset of data points regularly taken at intervals. There's too much data. So just because we have around 120 data points uh, for 12 data points a year and 10 years, so 120 data points, the, the spark line is not working as per the expected or as per expectation. So this I icon is available whenever the data point uh, crosses a limit of 52. So in that case, spark lines are not much useful. Yeah. This just just uh, we are if you are trying to check the data for last few few years or few four to five years, yeah, it would reach a limit of 52, and if that crosses, uh, the spark line is out of any use. So this icon would be available there. You can check the differences. No icon for this visual as we have data points for only two years, and for this we have 120 day per data points for last 10 years. So this is how a spark line is used in Power BI, a kind of trend analytics or a kind of uh, real time trend, whether is it in upward or downward. And you can, with the help of this trend, you can take the decision the financial decisions or immediate financial or daily decisions are taken whether to increase the price whether to focus on particular area where the sales are decreasing that can be taken with the help of these spark line concepts so this is how a spark line is useful for the business yeah that's it for today's video